Intergenerational Sunday. Intergenerational Sunday, absolutely. And then also this one is a Sunday that starts with an S. Send off Sunday. Send off Sunday. <laughs> so this is when we we meet and we kind of acknowledge all the work you all have been doing. And then we know that a lot of people have some plans over the summer. Is anyone going away from home this summer? Okay, so who wants to share a little bit? Where are you going? Um, my friend's camp. You're going to your friend's camp? Cool. Mm-hmm. How about you, Charlotte? I'm going to do summer as well. Nice. Sleepaway camp. Sleepaway camp? Very cool. What about you? Um, Booth Bay. Booth Bay? <laughs> nice. Pilgrim Lodge. You're going to Pilgrim Lodge. Oh, You'll see Lydia there. Uh, we're going camping. Is that what you're going to say? Yeah. Nice. So a lot of folks are, are going away, go away in the summer. We go up to sleepaway camp. We go up to camps. Some of us are going to go to the, are you going, is that the Pilgrim Lodge Pride no, Camp? Must a be different, different Pride Camp. Cool though. Cool. People are going to Pilgrim Lodge. People are going up to sleepaway camp. Amazing. So. I'm going away this summer too, you guys. I, I know, big news. Um, I am going to up to camp myself. So I will be going away too. And I don't know about you, a lot of days, like two and a half months. I'm going away for two and a half <laughs> months this summer. It's a long sleepaway camp for the pastor because I'm going on something called a sabbatical. Your mom told you that, yes, yes. Yes, um, but I don't know about you. I always went to camp in the summer, and does anyone ever get a little nervous about going to sleepaway camp? You went to sleepaway camp one time, but... It's scary. Charlotte, yes? It's scary. It's scary. Yeah. And How about you? My mom always asks, she's like, do you want to go to sleepaway camp? And Grace is like, yes, yes. So she's going to Pilgrim Lodge. Ooh. But I was like, too many people. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair, Eva. That's fair. That's fair. Um, well, when we, go, when we go away, when we go away, especially to sleepaway camp, or even if you go to you know, your grandma's or a relative, you are, you're, you're far away from your people, right? It sounds a little bit scary. So I thought this would be a good day to talk about something that's true about our faith, which is that we are, we're connected, right? Even when we're far away. And there's a book, there's an idea that we have in our hearts, everybody put your hand on your heart, that in your heart you are connected to the people who you love, and we can think of that connection like invisible strings, (coughs) invisible strings that connect us to the people who we are far away from. Mm -hmm. So we'll see how this goes. I brought some non-invisible string. (laughs) Um, I brought some non-invisible string, and I was thinking that if there's someone who you have in your heart, you could bring the string to them, and we'll see what kind of shape we make. I'm hoping we make a web. Let's see, (laughs) let's find out. So I'll start. So this summer when I'm away on sabbatical, I'm gonna miss my dad, because I'm not gonna see my dad all summer, and usually I see him a lot. So I'm gonna bring this string to my dad, um, who's gonna give me enough string, perfect. All right, Charlotte, is there someone who's in your heart who's here right now? Your mom, why don't you go grab that ball of yarn and bring it to your mom? You have one? Do you want to go? All right, why don't you go and you can bring it to somebody? Yeah, when she's done. All right, you you can go. Yep, you have someone? 
But you have someone too? Okay. Your, your Nana read the invisible book, string book to you and the whole time she was crying. Yeah, that's what happens to grown ups when you're reading invisible books. <laughs> Get the ball, get the ball. Yep, any way you want. <laughs> who's someone who's in your heart? Who's here? Oh, you got two different, you got two different locations. Oh, mommy. Mom and the baby. Mom and baby. Do you want to come to Church. <laughs> Good work, William. Nice. That was a long way. <laughs> All right, Michaela, you want to go? And I'm going to have. Do you want to go too? Efficient, although also more chaotic. <laughs> 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 And then we're going to be, I think we've got every family, every family is represented here. So, all right, so, perfect. All right, so as you keep winding your invisible thread, I'm going to talk a little bit about, about your, about this invisible thread. So, if you think about it, we are all connected, right? Each of us has all of these threads that go from our hearts to the hearts of people we love. And even when we aren't with them, even when we're not, what happened to the ball? Okay, perfect. Even when we're not with them, we always know that we're connected. So if we're up to camp, or we're, we're grandmas, we're connected to each other, and the whole world, if we could just see it, is connected by invisible threads. And there's another thread that each and every single one of us has. Does anyone want to take a guess about a thread that we all have that connects us? Yes, well, to our heart, yes, and maybe to Shut up. our family and to God, and to God. So we have uh, invisible threads that connect us to the whole, really the whole world, and we can always be connected to each other. This week in the church, we are reading about Jeremiah. Can everybody say Jeremiah? Jeremiah. Jeremiah. Jeremiah, Jeremiah was a prophet. 
And Jeremiah got scary news from God. Jeremiah, yeah, sure. Jeremiah got news that the people, the people in the land of Israel, the people in the Bible, were going to have to leave home. They were going to have to leave home. And, and that was pretty scary news. Because they, were they weren't going to summer camp. They were going to a place where people were not necessarily very nice. But after God gave Jeremiah that message, God gave Jeremiah another message, and it was this, that God was going to come and put God's self right in the people's hearts. God was going to make a house for God in everybody's hearts. And so when people went away, they were going to carry God with them, with them. And God said one third thing to the prophet Jeremiah. He said that everyone, he said that the people were going to come home. That people were going to come home. So this is faith, right? This is the confidence that through it all, no matter where we go, we are connected in our hearts to God and to the people who love us and also that at the end of the story, God will bring us home to ourselves and to love. So I want everyone to take a second and look out at the church. How does it look? Beautiful. <laughs> it's pretty wild, huh? There's a lot of strings going everywhere. Everywhere. Yeah, I don't really have a plan for untangling it, so that's going to be super fun. Um, <laughs> good point. Um, so, so when you're away from home this summer, I want you to remember, to be able to remember the prophet Jeremiah and how God told the prophet Jeremiah that God was going to live in our hearts and that wherever we go, we'll be connected to God, connected to each other, and connected to love. And then at the end of the story, we come home to love. Amen? Amen. Amen. And... The church, the thing about knowing this is that it allows us to have this firm, unshakable confidence. This confidence because no matter what, we know that we have God in our hearts and that we're loved. And the church is doing something that is kind of crazy bananas this summer. What? That other organizations don't do that much. What? They're sending me off for almost three months. One, two, three months. Now, have you ever heard of, like, the president being taking a three-month vacation? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> um, well, we, well, like, the, the, the president of the U.S. US. Do you have a cool president who no. took a big break? <laughs> <laughs> um, or, like, anybody heard of, like, the head of a bank just taking off for two and a half months? That's right. Because a lot of organizations would be too scared. They would think, what would happen? What could happen around here if we sent the pastor off for two and a half months, right? But in the church, we do things differently because we have this confidence, this confidence in God, this confidence in ourselves, and this confidence in each other. And when we have that kind of confidence, we can do things, even things that are a little crazy bananas. Amen? Amen. Amen. Like going off to summer camp where you don't know anybody. Crazy bananas, right? Yeah. A little bit. But you can be confident because you've got God and the people you love in your heart. And so that's a pretty cool thing. That's the thing that gives us a lot of freedom and a lot of room to move. And even if we aren't in the church over the summer, we can check in with the God of our hearts and the people around us, and they can show us the way. Praise be to God. And amen. 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 That's true for you grown-ups, too, wherever you go, even though if you're not going to camp. Um, and so we have one more thing to do. We're going to put our we're going to put our strings down. We can put our strings down. They're still here. They're still connecting us. Remember, because we have the invisible ones. But we are going to get a blessing. We're going to get a blessing. We're going to bless you for the summer. So, grown-ups, we need your help here. Everybody, we're going to kids' church. You're going to keep sitting. 
Grown-ups, though, we need you to put your hands up. Ancient Posture Christian Blessing. And we are going to bless you for your adventures. Oh God, bless these children who are ours and yours as they go forth into the world this summer. May our love for them surround them like a cloud of bug spray, deterring the dangers, annoyances, and trials of the world. May the wisdom they found here stay with them like a good sport sunscreen, an invisible presence that keeps them safe as they explore and play. Bring them back to our community, knowing more about the goodness in our world and themselves, and thus knowing more about you. We pray this in the name of the great teacher at whose knees we are all students, and in whose arms we are all held. Amen. 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 But before